646 and we're ending this week nice and quiet, still cold, but not as bad as yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yes, a moment to catch our breath before the next storm comes in and that will happen Sunday into Monday. It's a very dynamic storm system too, so we've got a lot to talk about. But let's get you ready to head out the door first with a forecast this morning. Temperatures starting off in the 20s and teens and will make it into the mid 30s this afternoon. It's a mostly cloudy sky, but just like yesterday, a few breaks in those clouds developing as the day goes on. The weekend starts off nice and quiet and mild. Temperatures well into the 40s for Saturday. Should be dry for any outdoor plans, but Sunday, that's when the problems start to arrive. We have a widespread moderate to heavy rain which begins midday along with wind gusts between 20 to 30 miles per hour. Allows temperatures to pop to the upper 40s, but as you'll see on Futurecast, far from a dry day. The first few hours may be okay, but as you can see in the afternoon and evening, it is an absolute soaker around the region, even at the mountain summits. And then the cold air catches up to the rain and flips it to snow by Monday morning. There's a good chance Early Monday morning, the mountains will have several more inches of wet snow, perhaps some mixing all the way to the valley floors and continued mountain snow into the rest of Monday. We've got a widespread one and a half to two and a half inches of rain on the way. And when you combine that with the melting snow in the mountains, remember it'll be well into the 40s. I do think we'll find some minor flooding issues, especially in vulnerable rivers. Some of them may get close to their banks, but we're not talking about any widespread significant flooding. The snow forecast is very much in flux. To be completely honest with you, I went back and forth quite a bit as to whether or not I'd even show this map this morning, but I just wanted to give you an early heads up that we're expecting several inches of mountain snow in the northern tier of the region, farther to the south, probably a little bit less. And just like the last couple of events, less snow in the lower elevations. I would urge you though to check back over the weekend because with these kind of systems, it's all about the timing and that flip from rain to snow and the weather models simply don't have a great handle on that yet. So make sure you check back for the latest information in the next couple days. Starting off this morning in the teens and 20s, again, a lot of clouds around. Temperatures getting to the 30s and 40s this afternoon. A few sunny breaks, but still plenty of clouds in the sky. Saturday looks like a mostly cloudy sky with a couple sunny breaks as well. Maybe a stray shower in northern New York. Otherwise, we're looking okay to start the weekend, but as you can see, Sunday afternoon, the widespread heavy rain is here for just about everybody. So Sunday and Monday both impact weather days. If you have plans to hit the road Monday morning, certainly watch this forecast. Good news is the rest of next week is fairly quiet, seasonable with temperatures in the 30s. And